Alright guys, I'm going to do an update on my hognose snakes. Um, real fast before I do that, i got two things I want to do. First, I want to give a shout out to uh, Snake Boy 1994 Snake B-O-I, you can't see that, I'll put an annotation up. He's got some really awesome snakes and really, really good videos. Uh, he's got this really awesome, I think it's a Cuban tree boa, it's huge. Y'all know how I like, love arboreal really anything but especially arboreal snakes and this thing's just amazing I've never seen one before so go check out his videos they're awesome um, second little thing I want to say real fast is uh, I know a lot of you watch the videos of the, the Amazon tree bow that wasn't doing well it ended up passing away about an hour after I made the video which uh, which is really really super sad um, I really hated to see that one go but there wasn't really much I could do about it at the time. A lot of people posted comments like saying, take it to the vet and do this and do that. Um, I've had a lot of, not a lot, but I've had sick animals and taken them to the vet, reptiles. That snake was at the point where it wasn't worth me going and spending a few hundred dollars because it was about to die, and I pretty much knew it was about to die. Um, I was actually thinking about making a CO2 chamber. I, I had like an old paintball CO2 can I was gonna go get some tubes in a bucket and make a chamber to euthanize it but it ended up dying with I think it was about an hour after I made that video anyway um, so that sucks but generally if I found a snake that's sick I would take it to the vet that one was just way beyond anyone being able to do anything so just wanted to kind of clear that up um, yeah anyway okay here we go let's start an update on the hog nose some really good news with this one, but I'll start with the small red, what I believe, I'm pretty sure is a male. You can see I upgraded, I had him in the Critter Keeper, I moved him into this larger tank. So he is doing great, I really wish you could get his colors. Let me switch to the macro. He's a really nice red. Growing fairly fast, I'm upping his food intake, so hopefully he will start to gain a lot of weight. Um, Here's my breeder male. Look at him. He's going to show you all a little pose. He's doing great. Um, this is set up. He'll probably move to another big tub. I Hopefully we'll get another rack soon and he can move him to a bigger tub. But this really is all right for him now. Um, I'm going to get him a new hide. Probably some cork bark. This is just some old thing I had. But it works fine for him. So there he is. And then here is the female. Let's see here. There she is. I'm actually going to do a little size comparison for you guys. Um, the female was about half his size. When I got him, the female was a good bit smaller than him. And as you can see now, she is easily twice his size. Um, she is now eating adult mice, and she is huge. Oh, come on. And as you can see... She is gorgeous. Never have I seen a snake. It's got a nice pattern. The colors are fairly unique. And then it's got this blushing on the side. I don't know how you can see it. But like all the pattern just fades out on the side. Um, no one even knows quite sure what the snake is. So hopefully I can prove it out. The good news is I put them together about a week and a half ago. I thought, I thought that they had bred when I put them together before. Um, but I never got any eggs from her. <clears throat> but I never knew for sure if they bred. I just thought they did. Uh, so I put them back together. The same day I put them together, I saw them locked up for sure. So, and then again a few days later, I think I've seen them three or four times locked up. So they've definitely been breeding. So hopefully uh, I'll get some eggs soon, and that would be awesome. Um, don't know how they're turning out or whatever, but yeah. There she is. And then hopefully I'm, I'd like to get some more soon, but I'm going to see how this project goes first, see if I can hatch some out. And then if I do, I'll probably use the money from selling babies to get some more females. Um, this male will be, the small male will be ready to breed next year because males can breed at super small sizes, but females have to be pretty big. But she's well, uh, probably 100 to 150 grams over the breeding weight. So I'm hoping she's going to produce some really nice eggs. But you can see, I mean, she's around two foot long now and just doing awesome. 
really one of my favorite snakes. If you're looking to get a good snake, an easy to care for snake, I would recommend a hog nose. The babies can be a little bit harder to get started eating on pinkies, but if you get one from a reputable breeder that's got them feeding already, you shouldn't have any problem. It's definitely my favorite small snake by far, hands down. Um, so there she is. I'll keep you guys updated. See that there, you can see where that pattern fades out really well right there. She is just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put them up. I'm actually I posted I have a video, a few videos of them. Um, when I put them together, them kind of doing some mating kind of stuff. So once I have time to edit it, I'll put that up. Being Labor Day weekend, hopefully I'll have some time. But there's that. Um, I'm going to take a few more animals out and make a few more videos out here in the open where you can see them a little better. And yeah, subscribe if you like the videos. Um, give me any suggestions on videos or whatever.